Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. Going to be two pound coin hunting in this episode. New book or the second episode of a new book. Haven't got the book yet so I've left all the finds on uh, on the mats of Pugeton. If you can hear him he seems to be excited about this new book as well. So I've ordered them from UK Coin Hunt but they haven't arrived at the time of filming. So I thought I'll leave what I've got on there and we'll see whether we can fill a few more spaces. So £500 worth of £2 coins coming up. Right, this is a special um, present that I've received. I want to just show you this before before we go anywhere. Happy days, uh, my Yorkshire brother. And that's uh, that's me and that is Master Dan Temple. And there's the, the, the tree, uh, the customary tree. Has he started putting, like, um, have he started putting letters in, Dan? I don't know, like, you know, in, in the tree, because I noticed in this one it said, like, C and J. Am I, am I missing something? Have I missed something? I don't know. If you've seen that address there, ignore that. That P.O. box does not exist. So let's have a little look to see what uh, to see what's inside. Oops, as he just accidentally gets into the uh, into the crevice there, into the, the hole, as it were. So hopefully I haven't damaged anything. Uh, there we go. Keep all packaging. Even the packaging for Master Dam is uh, is worth keeping. This is some kind of foil. All oh, right. Yes. 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 Oh, all right. Okay. I see. So this will be from the. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So this was. Have, have I won this because I'm a member of Master Temple's Treasures? Uh, I know you did a giveaway, and I think. Did you put it? Did I get picked out? Oh, everybody got one. Everybody got one of these, and the winner got a seal bag. So you, you really didn't have to, Dan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, just a pleasure to be part of the the temple crew, as it were. So, so right. Okay, I get it now. I was thinking, I wasn't. I was I expecting a coin. So don't know. Anyhow, it's a lovely gesture, and of course, the packaging makes it all worthwhile. Right. Let's crack on. £500 worth of £2. These are from the original post office lady, Liz. I haven't had, I don't think, great luck from Liz uh, since I started going to uh, since I started going to my new old mate, Sue, in a different post office. And then my new old mate, Sue, I haven't been getting any particularly good luck from there either, so I'm not sure whether I've cursed myself by, by spreading myself too thin amongst too many women. And I've basically spoiled it, and now we're getting nothing. But let's uh, let's see, let's see if I can fill a few more spaces on the mat. I'm going to be just flipping through these. I will not be uh, looking for errors or anything. I'll look at them after the event. Uh, now, now that's something new for for the mat for the book, the portrait of Brunel, 2016. Edge inscription is. Isambard Kingdom Brunel. I will rotate them just to check that before I put any commemoratives on the mat. So that's one for the book anyway. One for the book slash mat. And you know what I'm going to do? I think if I've already got it on the mat, I'm not going to put it down. I'm going to stick it in the pile with everybody, with the rest of them. Right, there is Shakespeare. Comedies, I've got this one. It's got the correct edge inscription. Ah, there's something different. Laughter and I on a coin. One, this one is needed. There's laughter on the left, me on the right. Laughter when he grows his beard anyway. I'll have origin of the species on here. And it does. And I can go right there, bronze find. Two for the book slash mat already. I'm sure by the time I do the next two pound hunt, these coin novels will have arrived. As I do, you know, a few people have said to me, why don't I leave them out on the mat? There's a, a one of them, I've got that. So that can go, that can go back once the edge inscription has been checked. So if people have said, why don't you leave the mat out? And, and I like it, it's a good idea, it's just a faff. You know, like, um, making sure I keep it safe in the meantime, or the right coins there. And they have a lot of coins flying around at any one time. So I just don't, although, this is quite, this is quite all right. Quite like this. There's another Brunel Le Mans, the engineer. Everything checks out. So I'll stick it in the pile over there to go back to the bank. Why am I having so much trouble opening these bags? I like, 
like booby traps with double, not double bagged, but like double turned over, or not, not sensibly turned over, unless there's a, a turning over bagging technique that I'm not aware of. You know, like a way of turning and turning to make sure that it doesn't open accidentally. This will be something cool. And there's the Shakespeare comedies. All the world's a stage. Rotation is good. That will go in the pile. Oh, I tell you what I should be doing. I should maybe be checking to see if I've got one of a better quality. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I've already got it. Which one's the best quality? So maybe I should be putting them on the pile so I can check them all for quality afterwards. Mm, thinking on the fly here. Making it up as I go along. Flying on the seat of one's pants. Yeah, that could be. That could be the... That's a, a rustly bag, very thin. Had some thick bags, and now some thin bags. But grot bags, not bags, nothing in that one. A bust, I want a better, of a better term. And I will at the end, I will look for any of the standard coins that are rotated, looking for any errors, any double die odd verse. Where it looks like it's been double stamped on the 2010 coin, found a few of them over the years. Oh, there's a deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA to you and me. And a. Uh, what's it called again? The other one? Anyway, we'll get this out of the way first. That looks all good. It will, it is in better condition than that because it's got a few, the one of them has got a few marks on. So I'll put that one on and get shot at that one. And we've got a Guy Fawkes, okay, nice condition that actually. Edge inscription. Hmm, that's a bit, it's a bit unusual. What's happened to the edge inscription? Very, very, can I zoom in anymore? No. It's very fine. You can barely, you can barely read it. Is that a really weak strike or has it been, has it rubbed off? Has it had a hard life? I mean, the rest of the coin looks good. Mm, very strange. Compared to that one, I mean, you see the difference in the edge inscription. We know that the R can have a weak strike on the kick of the R. But that's what is it? Is it just one? Does anybody know? I'll be keeping it anyway because it's in better condition than that one. Uh, but yeah, why is that? Why is the edge inscription so smooth? I suppose I could, I could weigh it as well, couldn't I? Let me just. Here's some scales I prepared earlier. Yeah, 12 grams. All is all is well. It's not fake, is it? The rest of the design's too good to be fake, plus the IRB. No. Has it just worn? Probably. Let me know what you think. Have I got a super rare? A valuably rare. Oh flipping heck, these, these coin bags are rubbish. In terms of who who has booby trapped them. Well, yeah, let me know if I've got a super rare Guy Fawkes there. Am I going to be a millionaire with that uh, with that find? Will I be able to afford that plane that's going overhead? With that Guy Fawkes going? I reckon not. No matter how rare it is, I reckon not. That bag's so thick. Not very loud. Oh, but that other bag earlier was so... Oh, nice. That is a plum. We've got a plum, ladies and gentlemen. A plum find a train. I don't find this very often. I know I say this probably too much, don't I? I don't find it very often. But, uh, but I don't. Not in, not in great condition. It's a little bit... It's a little bit grubby. But it is a silver find. Probably at least three, maybe four pounds worth of coin. Mm, I mean, am we over exaggerating a four? 
Is it not in Super Nick? What? I don't know. Anyhow, 1,690,000. It's a silver find. So the mat, the gold finds at the top are the most valuable. Uh, the lowest mintage. And it goes silver, bronze, and then non metal physicians. So it's all aboard the plum fine train. There's another one of them. And we'll just ditch that once we've checked the check the edge. Yep. The hollow crown. Pleased with that. Yep. So yes, I can't be uh, I can only be thanking Liz for that beauty. It's the rarest and most valuable coin we've found so far. And on a train theme, there is the locomotive, the Richard Trevithick. Our Trev is terrific. Bit of a sister coin to the subway train look because it has what looks like tracks around the outside. So it's nice. And that's there, just over five million. Not valuable, I'm afraid. Even in really lovely condition. If it's circulated, then it's only two pounds worth. There's a Florence Nightingale. We've got one of them. That's not in nice condition. So that can just go straight back in. 150 years of nursing. Oh dear. Some smeg on there. So yes, the one I've got on the board won't be as in bad a condition as that. Ugh. Army Centenary. That's in quite nice condition. Check the rotation, we know they exist. But that one's in super condition. I'll, I'll be doing well to um, beat the one I found last time. Right? That's the field. Oh, and there is another Origin of the Spixies, Darwin. That one. I'm gonna power through these when you're not looking for errors or oddities and just looking for the community. Can whip through a little bag of two pound coins in no time at all. 1999, that's another one. Keep an eye out for. If you get one of them in nice condition, they were they're gonna be worth maybe up to a tenner. Just a bog standard 1990 technology, not that one, that's an army centenary. Because the 1999, see, very thin and rustly. Uh, but yeah, 1999 technology was not available in annual sets. Didn't that one there? Didn't cut, did not come out in bunk form. So, oh, neighbours cutting the grass, I'm so lucky. So it didn't come out in bunk form, so people who were looking for date runs. On a nice 1999, and you can only get them from circulation. But yeah, we're not having much luck with their neighbours. It wasn't that long ago that Lady M and I were filming our 50p hunts, one, you know, the ones that upload on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and someone uh, got the strimmer out. And it was that bad, and then it turned into a barbecue that we didn't finish the film until the next day. But hey, oh, such is the urban life. There's a one of them, we've already got one of them. So many irons in the fire. So I will whip that back into the part and go back to the bank. Another army centenary. So many of them, so many of them. Let me know what you think of the mat idea, just keeping the mat out. Because it is, it is doable, I suppose. It's not the end of the world. I'm not too sure people will be bothered about me comparing the quality as we go along, like. That might be something that I might have to do off camera. I think. You know, switching out some nice conditions. Right, there's a St. Paul's. No two pound hunt is complete without St. Paul's. It's not in very nice condition. The one I've already got will be in better condition. I'm sure. Three bags to go.
Ooh, something interesting coming up there. Two Shakespeare's together. We've got a Histories, a Hollow Crown, and the Jester with all the world's a stage. We've got them both. Mm, that's probably in nicer condition, I think. Than that Jester. It is. So I'll swap that out. Two good ones. Please do feel free to subscribe, like the video, like, you know, leave a comment, all that good stuff. If you like the cut of the jib, well, if you want to support us, do hit that subscribe. Right, if this is the end of the video, then uh, it'll end in 10 seconds time. If it's longer than 10 seconds, then uh, it means you found a really plum error when I've gone back through them. Uh, oh no, not no, not ten seconds. I'll need to review the plum find. Anyway, I'll do it in a minute. This is the best. This is the best of the hunt. A silver find. Very pleased with that. That can go on there. Right. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode, or in five seconds' time, if I found something cool.